Welcome back to Naughty or Nice. I'm your host, Brett, and we're looking at 12 foam flinging and nerf related products leading up to Christmas. And I'm gonna tell you if they are in fact naughty or nice. And this is my co-host, Luca, who decided to show up but has nothing of relevance to say. Do you? Hey, it's day eight. You know what that means? Nothing. Where is our day eight blaster? It's behind me. Luca, you want to help me open this one? It's like the size of you. What do you think? What do you think it is? Dear man wearing hat, because you've had such a consistent and quality year of entertaining uploads, you deserve this. The very best your favorite foam flinging brand has to offer. Builder BB. Wow, those are some real kind words. I hope this product lives up to those words. Thoughts? It's Orion's World Blaster, my favorite line from my favorite creator on YouTube, the Renegade Pump Action Blaster. I'm not trying to pass judgment too early on the blaster itself. I am passing judgment now on the marketing and the tie-in. I am uh, not the biggest proponent of this creator, or should I say this creator's family, but that's, uh, we don't need to get into that right now. Here are those cool looking special darts. I su Nope, we're looking at those later. All right, here's the chunky blaster. Oh God, what? Oh, oh, it feels like it's gonna fall apart in my hands. Pop the cylinder into place. Cool, that comes out. Will you lock into place? Oh, that's, that's not a good sign. Oh, come on, lock. Uh, all right, we're gonna need to look at this a little bit more just to make sure this thing isn't actually broken. It's the Ryan's World Foam Dart Tag Renegade Pump Action Blaster, featuring the blaster itself with removable drum and 50 aerodynamic darts. Pocket watch Ryan's World powered by Dart Tech. Don't forget to scan the QR code so you can play Ryan's Dart Tag. Uh, retailing for $25 from Target, originally. But now it's elsewhere for like 24. Finally, my favorite creator has entered the blaster space. Ryan's Toy Reviews or Ryan's World or whatever they're calling him these days. Let's not discount the entire line just yet on the principle of Ryan's World, though I am obviously coming in with a slightly negative perspective as a result and I kind of told myself I wouldn't check out these blasters ever. Here we are. They've been out for a little bit of time. This was the one I was most curious about just because this is a 20 round cylinder, pump action, easy to reload. That is a recipe for success. Pump back, automatically springs forward, and you shoot. All right, that was close. Slam fire is not an option. Yeah, it doesn't like that. But it is pretty easy to go from the top row to the bottom row and vice versa with this little tab on the side. I think that's very familiar to X-Shot. McDonald's, I guess, wants their color scheme back, but hey, great for them. A little fin up top, a little fin in the back. The R, of course, meaning, I'm assuming Ryan, not Renegade. Kind of clever how they work that into the handle. It is still good that you can remove the cylinder, but as you saw in the opening, it was a bit of a pain to get it back in place. Now I figured out pretty well that you just have to kind of fit it into the back first and then lock it down but it seems a little challenging for what I would consider ages eight and up might find. Oh, actually, I didn't lock it into place. Wow, that was a good example. Now it's locked into place, now it's a bit more sturdy. Yeah, if you don't lock it into place, it wobbles around quite a bit, and I guess I've done that more than once. Now the blaster overall does feel a little cheap. Shocking, right? Well, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Some parts are fine and other parts you can feel are very, very thin. Like back here with no supports. Yeah, I can squish that pretty easily. That blaster has a little bit of flex to it too. The main area that I have a problem with it is the handle. I'm not complaining about the handle size because I'm an adult and this is advertised for ages eight and up children. What I am complaining about is that these multiple plastic pieces create what I would like to call the ultimate hand chomper. This looks like a shark, so maybe the mouth would be up here. The real mouth is right here. But when I grip this blaster and I prime it back, I can feel this little gap between the yellow piece 
and the red handle close in. It's a small gap, but because this red piece is also going over this white one, it creates a larger gap and then closes. I am terrified this is going to eat my hand. Now having tested this out for a bit, I can say I haven't really had any jams with the blaster, which is good. I've had a few skips, which is understandable if you go a little faster, but I haven't really had any issues when I switch between the lower and upper levels either. It doesn't feel crazy powerful. And again, that shouldn't be too surprising for what it is, but it also just kind of sounds a little bad when you dry fire this thing. So sometimes it dry fires okay and other times it dry fires really loud. It might be because it's sometimes misaligned. <laughs> the cylinder got upset. Was that the fourth time I've now had an issue with that? Can we talk about the darts? Here are some that are left after a quick reload. You see these beauties? Truly the McDonald's fries of the dart world. Now some of them have completely smooth surfaces and others have like extra glue on them. What's going on there? And of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't point out how about half of the darts came out of this tray. It does give you about 10 extra, which is nice. But what you get... Uh, that was a good one. That's a good one. That's... Oh, another double. Cool. Oh, okay. I've cleared... Oh, there's another one. Maybe we need to tone down the glue on some of these. Also, these little covers on the side I thought were a little bit... <laughs> more secure. They're, they're not, so I guess you could take those out and now you have a more streamlined blaster. I guess I assumed they were supposed to be permanently affixed, but um, that's not the case. Ryan's World Renegade, oh boy. Look, preconceived notions aside, it's not the worst blaster ever. I've seen many worse things and the onboard capacity is also not terrible. Could you effectively use this in a nerf game? Well, depends on the one, but sure, I suppose I could see it. Would you wanna use the included darts, which I put back in their packaging? Um, probably not, especially since some of them are sticking together high quality. Would you use them over elite darts? That's a different question. So overall, like it does do as advertised, but it does also kind of feel like it's gonna bite my hand off back here. It does still feel very flexy. And um, sometimes it's a pain to get the cylinder back in. It does lock into place pretty well, but sometimes I fumble with it way too much and I'm an adult and I feel like I shouldn't be doing that. Ryan's World Renegade, is it naughty or nice? Well, despite it not being terrible, uh, it's still terrible. <laughs> I'm not looking to actively support that line, so oops, there it goes. I suppose there were some better ones from the line, and there may have even been a worse one. At least that one had the onboard capacity, but even then, probably a pass from me.